Hello, I'm Andrew Smith. I'm a member of the Cisco module team at the Open University in the United Kingdom. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you around a Cisco 2900 series router. As you can see, this is quite a big thing that you find in many server rooms in many companies around the world. And this is the sort of device that will run whole networks for you. You may have seen your own home router, a very small device that will quite happily look after all the computers in your house, your mobile phones and other systems. Normally one of these will have around two to 5,000 different people connecting at once. If you actually look, you can see that it's quite a big device. It actually will fit in a server cabinet and cover about two slots. On the front, we have the power connector. And on the back, you will see there is a whole array of different connectors and a lot of empty panels on this new one where we can actually slot in different network cards for different types of networks. So if you've got a broadband network that your companies are looking after or a wide area network, some of these slots are actually used for that. Now, during the close-ups, you will see different ports on this router or different interfaces depending on the language you use. We start off with these USB ports, which are used to connect USB universal serial bus devices such as memory sticks or external hard drives to this router. This is used to put on configuration files or to actually put the operating system onto this router because it has its own specialist operating system. Also, we can see these three ports or interfaces these are gigabit Ethernet interfaces that were used to connect different local area networks to this router. In practice, this router could connect three completely different networks, three completely different buildings, three completely different organizations just from those three ports. Also, if you look very closely, we've got a console and an auxiliary port. The console port is used by you, the networking expert, to connect directly to this router using terminal software where, like the old command line of Windows operating system or the command line of Linux or Unix, you type in all the different commands to configure these Cis Cisco routers. In addition, you'll see we've got a slot here that can be removed. Inside here, we have these WIC2T serial interface cards. These WIC2T serial interface cards are used to configure wide area networks and enable this router to connect to your internet service provider or another part of the company that could be somewhere else within your country or in another nation around the world. You can see that we have actually have some much bigger slots that are also removed where we can add different power units or other different networking units as well. And as you're working your way through this book, you will have the opportunity to configure some of these different devices as part of your practical exercise. Thank you very much.